Bonnie. Happy Sunday. I am back. I actually went to Bath and Body Works today because someone had commented that they were seeing the tropical soap roll in, not at my store. So I didn't buy anything. I went to Bath and Body Works. I bought nothing. <laughs> I can't believe it. Um, I did get a Joanne with my mother to look for some storage bins and um, a lot of spring stuff rolling in. I did put um, a TikTok up about the spring stuff. I'll put it up on YouTube too so you can see it. But lots of pretty stuff. Lots of frogs and mushrooms for spring. Lots of like fairy garden stuff. So speaking of fairy garden, I wanted to do the same thing for candles that I did for body care. I did a spring recap of body care yesterday because there's a lot of candles out right now for spring. It is a little bit confusing. So we're going to go through all of the collections right now. So first up, Valentine's Day. We've got the Sweetheart Cherry in the single wick. It does not come in the three wick. I don't know why. I totally would have bought that one. The three wick, we have strawberry pound cake, and then we also have bubbly rosé. For the first time, I'm like, I don't think I'm buying those. I'm not going to buy them unless the price goes down down, which it may. Right now, it's $15.95 for a three-week. Not the best deal. Shipping is free online with the code, what's the code? Add to cart. The problem is, if you get the free shipping, then you can't use a 20% off coupon, and you're paying $16 for a candle. So a lot of people are saying no uh, to this candle sale because it's not super good. So spring candles have started rolling in. The first collection I'm going to talk about is actually um, for Black History Month. These are the signature candles that Bath & Body Works does uh, for the people that actually have designed the candles. Uh, this is by, um, it says, fragrance created by Gwen Gonzalez and then designed by Katria Judkins. I have all four of these. They're good. I'll have to say I like them. Um, this is You, Me, and the Sea. It is Blue Orchid, uh, Fresh Eucalyptus, and Salt Water. Very strong. Smells like summer. I'm not quite ready for this one. I'm going to save this one for June. I might review it before then, but it is a nice, strong candle. Um, then we have Anna's Garden, which is the green one. Um, this is Orange Blossom, White Tea, and Jasmine Musk. This is like another 10. It's got a little too much jasmine in there for me. I'm like, whoa, like this is like walking into like a full on floral bouquet. Um, then we have Gwen's Note, which is the creamy sandalwood, sage and soft lavender. This one is very relaxing. This one feels like a now candle, very cozy. And then we have my favorite, uh, which is My Sweet Sisters. This one is sugared cinnamon, toasted hazelnut, and cake batter. I think it smells like um, lint hazelnut chocolate. I like this one a lot. I burned this again, and this is like a total yay for me. One of my favorites, actually, of um, the season. Not super strong, but I really, really like it. So then we have... Um, the Calypso Clementine, which is part of the signature collection. Not loving this one. So it's a little too woodsy for me. Um, Juicy Clementine, Neroli Nectar, and Coastal Woods. I will burn it, uh, but right now it's kind of a no. I've got it sitting up here uh, right on my pineapple because it does look kind of tropical. <laughs> so I was like, I'm going to leave it up there. Okay, so then we have a collection um, with the diamonds on it. I actually like this jar style, I think, one of the best ones. There's three jar styles that I like a lot, including this one. I like the patterns. They're they're kind of like a matte. They've got like a nice texture to them, but these are gorgeous. So we've got fresh sheets. Um, I got to review this one. I need Lenny here. <laughs> I need Lenny for fresh sheets because I'm like so bad at this one. Uh, crisp citrus, clean lavender, and watery apple. This is not my favorite, I gotta say. However, I do have a favorite, and my favorite is almond croissant. I love the jar. I love the scent. Um, this one is toasted almonds, 
vanilla glaze and flaky coconut. This one is so good. I love this one. It's got that nuttiness. It's got the vanilla. It just burns really, really well. This is a total win for me. Okay, so we got that one. Uh, then we have the unfortunate book loft, which I reviewed. I did not like this one. Oh my gosh. I still like, you know, I'm like, what is this? I haven't returned it. Um, cozy up under a warm blanket as you turn the pages of your favorite book. This is a total no for me though. Not liking that one at all. I do have to review this one now. This is fresh Amalfi lemon. I love the packaging and I love the set. I'm cold. This one smells so good. It is lemon leaves, chilled spearmint, and cedarwood citrus. <gasps> it's strong and it smells really, really good. So then we have a couple of other ones um, with the diamond on them, but they look a little bit different. So these have more of like a, I don't know what you call it, like a marbleized kind of glossy. It's funny because these are not glossy. These are like a little bit more matte. Um, these are glossy. This is Wildberry Jam Donut, which I love. Oh my gosh, we need Raspberry Jam Donut back in the body care. Uh, sweet Wildberry Jam, powdered sugar, and brown sugar crumble. You cannot um, go wrong with this one if you like raspberry jam and donuts. This is wonderful. So also we have pe Prosecco and Peaches. We have Mahogany Vanilla. Let me see if there's any more diamond ones. Um, I think that's it. Oh, this has got the diamond on it. Again, a little bit of a different design. This is spring clothesline. Um, I don't mind this one, actually. This is the lemon water, sun-dried blooms, and golden amber. I like this one more than I thought I was going to like it. So I'm, I'm okay with the uh, spring clothesline. Okay, so then we move over to this collection. I gotta say, I love this packaging. This is like total English fairy garden. These are gorgeous. I have Flower Child, which I reviewed like a long time ago. Uh, this is White Narcissus, uh, Cashmere Musk, and Sweet Cedarwood. It's sweet, it's delicious, it's floral all in one, it's gorgeous. So in this design, we also have eucalyptus rain, white lavender and eucalyptus, fresh cut lilacs, which I have behind me. That's a good one. Gotta, gotta, I gotta get that jar. That's what I'm waiting for a sale on. And then we also have springtime in Paris, which came back uh, from years past. So springtime in Paris is definitely something um, that's come back. Oh, also in the diamond, we have amethyst dreams, which I I don't even like that one, so it kind of was off my radar. Um, it's funny because it's blue, and Amethyst Stream, she think of purple. Okay, so then we have a set of two. We have Hummingbird Tea Cake, which I love. Oh my gosh, this is the pineapple cake batter, cinnamon spice, and toasted pecans. One of my favorites for this year. And then the other one in this collection has a B, I believe. Um, yes, the B is Backyard Honeysuckle. I want it just for the jar. I'm like, I need the set. Um, oh, another dot. Gosh, these diamond ones are all over the place. Another dot. I'm like scrolling through. Uh, Palo Santo and Sage is another diamond one. Oh, and Sweet Red Mango. So this diamond pattern is pretty prominent um, on a lot of candles. Oh, and Coconut Sandalwood. My God, there's they're all over. My goodness. Okay. <laughs> I'm like the, the never-ending diamond collection. Okay, so then we have this collection, which is equally as pretty. I love these. I love the clear jars. I love the um, well, clear, like clear colored glass. Um, we have lavender vetiver, which is really nice. This is my kind of lavender. Wild, wild lavender, warm vetiver, and creamy sandalwood. And then we have um, Greenhouse Fern, which I shouldn't like, but I do. Oh, it's so sweet. This one's like a botanical sweetness. Lush bergamot, violet leaves, and jasmine blooms. I got to review those two. So also in that collection, we have Blue Orchard Skies, which I don't think I like. That's come out in the fall, but I like the jar. And then we have Bergamot and Birch. And then we have... Um, I think that's it in that collection. 
So then, see, this is confusing. This is how I like to do these videos. We have a very neutrals jar. I'm going to put up a screenshot if I remember. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to grab it on my phone. Every time I screenshot something, I glitch. So we're going to do this the old-fashioned way. I'm just going to hold this up. You're going to see in a minute. This is good. It's worth the wait. Okay, candles. Um, all candles for 14 ounce. Okay, I got to show you guys these candles. Okay. Hopefully you can see this on my screen. Can you see those? Those are these neutrals. Okay. We have Wild Rose and Suede, which I did smell in the store. That one was not bad. Dark Amber and Oud. Pink Lavender Espresso. Put that on your list. It's amazing. It's like a um, lavender kind of... It's kind of interesting. It's like, I have that one downstairs. I got to pull that one. Um, it's rich pink lavender, caramel espresso beans, and smooth vanilla. It smells so good. That was one of my favorites, actually, um, from last year. So keep your eye on that one. And then we have um, mahogany coconut, which is a no for me. No, no, no. White tea and sage, cardamom and vetiver, Fiji White Sands, which should be in the tropical, but it's in this Neutrals collection, and then Sweet Orange and Agava. A lot of people are kind of looking at that one. I smelled it. It's different than Clementine or Calypso Clementine. I can't decide if I like it. I might get that one. And then we have Blue Verbena and Lime and Raspberries and Vanilla, which we've had before. Um, that's a good one. Then we have this interesting collection that actually came out for like semi-annual sale, but was not part of semi-annual sale. And I do not understand why. It was just kind of like part of the spring collection, kind of not. So we had Endless Weekend, Vanilla Coconut Surf, and Palo Santo in um, these jars. The only one that like appeals to me is the Vanilla Coconut Surf. I want to see what that one's like. Um, and then we had that um, almost like a bamboo collection None of these are very appealing to me. I smelled all of them, and I'm like, total no on, like, all of them. Uh, I might pick up Sedona Sandstone if Lenny comes into town, just so he can smell that one, because um, it was a no for me. But we have Blue Icelandic Waters, Valley Rainforest, and Sedona Sandstone, which are actually getting good reviews. Then... Um, we move into Christmas. They have all their Christmas candles, semi annual sale, hot pink cocoa, perfect Christmas. Those should be, in my opinion, 75% off. I don't think we should be paying $13.47 for a Christmas candle at this point. Clearance is off Bath and Body Works. We don't need them. Um, what's interesting is there's an entire like white barn collection. I'll maybe give it Bath and Body Works those because they don't necessarily look Christmas, like Eucalyptus Rain, Laundry Day, Watermelon Lemonade. Oh, those aren't even on sale anyway. What the heck? Okay. I thought those were 13. They're, they're 15. Um, the only ones on sale are the few Christmas, uh, Winter White Woods, Eucalyptus and Sage, Crunchy English Toffee. I thought that one would get sold out. <laughs> I was like, it's going to sell out. It didn't sell out. <laughs> But it should be $6. It should. So, um, you know, if you're looking for Christmas candles, they're in the $12, $13 range. I'm holding out for a better candle sale. But I wanted to kind of organize things a little bit for you guys so you would know what's happening. Um, in terms of candle holders, I have those on the way. So we're going to talk about candle holders in another video. Um, I have the White Swan right here. And then I just ordered... The Meditating Frog, and The Honeycomb. So I'll be doing reviews on those. I'm hearing we're supposed to be getting an elephant water globe. Haven't seen it yet, but that's supposedly on the way. And then, um, you know, tropical candles are going to start rolling in soon. So I just wanted to organize our spring one candles so we knew what was happening. Uh, let me know your favorites below. And I have another random candle bin video. Thank you, John. I will see you in a few. Bye-bye.